I'll give a short comment. No? Um, it is the duty of public officers to appear before Congress or any of its committees. Uh, in fact, in the case of uh, Balag versus Senate of the Philippines, GR number 23-4608, dated July 3, 2018, the Supreme Court had the occasion to rule that the attendance is mandatory when so summoned by Congress, is underscored by the fact that failure to do so without legal basis is subject to criminal sanction under Article 150 of the Revised Penal Code. So, para lang po maunawaan ng ating mga kababayan, ito po ay uh, ang hindi po pagdalo sa mga committee hearing ng Kongreso ay uh, pwede pong makasuhan ng kriminal. Dahil ito po ay uh, tinatalaga ng batas na ang pagpunta dito ay mandatory para sa mga public officials. Maraming salamat po. Meron pa po bang uh, gustong magsalita? Yes, Comsec, please continue. Your Honor, I would like to recognize Vice Chairperson Honorable Janet L. Garin from the 1st District of Iloilo. Honorable Rolando M. Valeriano from the 2nd District of Manila and from the Department of Education Under Secretary for Operations, Mr. Rev. C. A. Escobedo is present. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. We will now proceed to the next item in our agenda. We will continue on the del deliberation. The first to interpolate is... Like a Okay. The chair would like to recognize the first interpolator, Congressman Zia Alonto Adyong. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Mr. Chair, I'd like to take off from the previous discussions that we had last November 5, Mr. Chair, where the committee has already been has already established a numerous uh, acknowledgement receipts uh, from the Office of the Vice President as well as from the Office uh, Department of Education. Uh, these uh, various of these uh, acknowledgement receipts uh, bear, bearing no names and only signatures, Mr. Chair. Now, we have already established that in the last committee hearing. There were even uh, acknowledgement receipts, Mr. Chair, uh, with names that repeatedly, no? Uh, hindi lang dalawang beses, uh, even thrice, tatlong beses pong nag appear sa ito sa mga diff sets of acknowledgement receipts. May mga acknowledge acknowledgement receipts din, Mr. Chair, na pare-pareho ang pagkasulat. Um, at yung iba, yung iba pare-parehong tinta ng, ng kanilang ballpen na ginamit. Na there have been numerous other observations, Mr. Chair, which lead this committee and at least this representation to believe na Meron talagang questionable yung processes at mukhang gawa-gawa no? uh, yung itong mga acknowledgement receipts na ito, Mr. Chair. Uh, so since then, since we started discussing about the acknowledgement receipt, Mr. Chair, uh, there were numerous, numerous uh, inquiries from the public asking me kung how important is this acknowledgement receipts are. So pag-usapan po natin yon, and I think this is part of my manifestation before I go on proceed, to proceed with my questions, Mr. Chair. Ang, uh, ang mga acknowledgement receipts na po ito ay sinumite ng, sinumite ng Office of the Vice President at the Department of Education bilang documentary evidence of payment for the supposed uh, expenses using confidential funds, uh, Mr. Chair. For the record and to answer the public, Mr. Chair, uh, yung buong kabuuan po ng confidential funds ng Office of the Vice President uh, totaling 500 million pesos as well as the confidential funds of the Department of Education totaling 112.5 million. These amounts were liquidated, liquidated, Mr. Chair, solely through the acknowledgement receipts. Um, totaling with a grand total of 612.5 million of these public funds utilized um, na ginamit na ang binigay lang sa uh, sa COA as a as a uh, 
justification for the utilization of these confidential funds ay yung acknowledgement receipts na marami ho tayong nakita in the previous uh, hearings na medyo questionable. Iba, yung iba ay to a point na nakakatawa, Mr. Chen. I would just like to cite an example and let me go back to the previous, again, uh, acknowledgement receipt that was first observed by Chairman Romy Akop. How many um, acknowledgement receipts are we talking here, Mr. Chair? No? Uh, based, based on my office uh, count, there are almost 4,500 uh, acknowledgement receipts na nanggaling po, in total, no? both nanggaling po sa Office of the Vice President, pataniran po uh, galing po dun sa Department of Education when uh, the Vice President concurrently holding the office as Secretary. Uh, roughly 4,500, 2,670 from the Office of the Vice President submitted uh, acknowledgement receipts and 1,820 with no zero invoice, no um, invoices, zero official receipts. No, lahat po ito acknowledgement receipts na walang attachment of proof of identity. No, or the existence man lang ng yung supposed recipients nito ay buhay or totoong tao. So this is, this is what we find out during the previous committee hearings. And this is what I think the observant, observation of this represent, representation would like to find out. May I, uh, again, let me go back to the previous discussion that we had. At, naging, nagkaroon din ito ng national traction. Eh. May I request uh, Comsec to please flash the first acknowledgement receipt that was uh, noticed by Chairman Ako. Ayan po, Mr. Chair. Yung Mary and uh, Mary Grace <laughs> Piatos, no? Isa po yan sa mga acknowledgement receipt na naisumite sa sa commission, uh, commission on uh, COCOA, Commission on Audit, na alam naman po natin na yung pangalan na Mary Grace ay isang restaurant, yung piatos ay isang chichirya. No, if you ask me, uh, medyo questionable kung meron pa talagang taong nagngangalang Mary Grace piatos. Now, we could not find out whether this Mary Grace Piatos is indeed a person or alive because there's no uh, corroborate attachment to it other than the acknowledgement receipt na receive natin, ang permado niya. So, Mr. Chair, uh, this prompted, Mr. Chair, in fact, some of the members here and I guess members who came out with a, uh, ano no, yung pabuya na kung sino man ang makakapagturo, Mr. Chair, sa taong ito, Nabuhay, uh, we are willing to provide uh, 1 million pesos as a reward for anybody who can point us to us whether this Mary Grace Piatos is indeed a person and if she is really around alive, no, Mr. Chair. Uh, also, as Mr. Chair, another observation that I want to ask, I think it was all also already mentioned during the previous hearings, that there are names appearing in both the acknowledgement receipts from the OVP and as well as from the Department of Education. Pero may, may isang pangalan na nag-stand out sa akin among all the acknowledgement receipts na sinumiti nila. So, Mr. Mr. Chair, just to maintain the confidentiality of the activities, assuming there were any such activities, Mr. Chair, I would just like to just um, show to you the signature of this particular acknowledgement receipt which I Notice, Mr. Chair, no? uh, may I uh, request uh, our ComSec to flash the second? Yan po. <coughs> um, ito po yung acknowledgement receipt galing po yan sa Office of the Vice President. Yung set po na sinabmit. Uh, gusto ko lang pong tanungin ang uh, ating ang koa. Is, Mr. Chair, is uh, Ms. Ka 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 Kamora present? May we know if uh, representative from... Kowa is present. Are Attorney Kamora. Kamora. Yes, Attorney Kamora is present. 